Hello everyone. Hello and good morning. It is Will. And Jose. And today's our first full day in Cebu. Mm -hmm. So we woke up at 6 a.m. We got dressed. We are ready to go explore the city a little bit. Yep, so tag along and get yourself ready because there's a lot to see and do here. Yeah, let's go get some first impressions, guys. Holy freaking crap. Look at this. This is a view. Whoa. Holy. This was worth the drive up this here. This was worth the drive, and it was quite the drive. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Obsessed. Good morning, guys, and welcome to the very top of Cebu City. We're here at Top's Lookout, where you're able, where's the camera going? Where were we? It's about 100 pesos each person. I really don't know the conversion in USD, so I'll just put it down here. Um, I'll work on that while we're here. And it's beautiful. I mean, you get this full 360 view of Cebu City. When you walk in, you get the whole city scape. And then you take a couple steps to your left or a couple steps to your right. And you get these luscious green mountaintops peeking through like the mist of clouds. And now the sun's coming out, which just makes it even better. But the greenery here is insane. Guys, first impressions. I really like Cebu City. I like it a lot. It's huge. There's lots of buildings. There's a lot of chaos going on. Organized chaos, I'm sure. Um, a lot of cars, a lot of bicycles, a lot of people, a lot of buildings, a lot of a lot of English language. And I know that doesn't sound like that should be a big thing. No, there's a lot of English, and we have not seen that much English since we were back home in the States, so it's gonna take some getting used to, which is a weird thing to say, but we're, we've gotten so accustomed to uh, seeing everything in Thai that, yeah. But no, we like it, we love it. There's lots to say, and we're gonna cut this part because you are not. Wait, wait, wait. No, I, you didn't. I didn't act, require an extra <laughs> for the scene. I just want to say, but what makes? And if this camera is focused on you and not on me, I would be so <laughs> pissed off. What I'm trying to say is that the best part about the Philippines, well, one of the best things so far is that they have Popeyes Yay! here. West and Jaw. Yeah. Why did you not tell us they had Popeyes <laughs> the first night we got here in Manila? Our fly, uh, ooh, brr, mm, 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 start again. Mm. Weston Ja, why do you not tell us the Popeyes? Like the first night we got here for our layover in Manila, we saw Popeyes. We opened up our grab app and we immediately ordered and could not have been more happy. Now that we gave you guys a perspective of the whole city from the very top, we're gonna start making our way down to this awesome. Well, we'll see. You'll yeah, see. We'll see. Just a short eight minute drive from the viewpoint and there's a love story behind this mm -hmm. there was this married couple in the year of 2012 his wife died of cancer and afterwards he decided to put 80 million pesos into this beautiful structure behind us and inside the structure are a lot of her belongings so if that's not true love then i don't know what is and if there ever comes a time where i pass before will you better Built a structure in I'm honor sorry. of me. If there ever becomes a time, yeah. Just because you're six years younger than anything, <laughs> we're not gonna have the conversation now. It's sad, but yeah. Something Jose did not tell you guys is that it's called the Temple of Leia because that's her name the more you know. Oh, 
crying because I got bitten by a mosquito. <laughs> no, this is sad. This is sad, guys. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. What a sentiment. can walk around the whole temple ground or the whole structure ground and look through these like cage-like windows and see all the belongings that belong to Leia. All this photos of her. She was a babe. So we ended up coming to the Cebu Heritage Monument, figured we kind of immerse ourselves in some history, knowing that we don't know much about the Philippines, and what better way to do it than here. And the monument pretty much tells you kind of the history behind Cebu City and how it was invaded and how that kind of ended. This nice man giving us a little history lesson. This is before... The first Cebu, Okay. Okay. Uh, Pedro Calonso. Right. And this is when they uh, brought Christianity, correct? Yeah. Okay. Guys, that was so super cool. We were just, me and Jose know nothing, so we're trying to figure it out on Google. And then Eduardo works here. He's lived here inside this for 10 years now. Um, he watches the grounds. And he came, gave us a story of every depiction here. It was really, really, really cool. And yeah, that's actually kind of how it's been ever since we got to the Philippines. People are super nice and come up to us and interact. So we're, we're loving it so far. First impressions, man, you guys are killing it here. We love it, we love it, we love it already. Also one thing to know and one thing I need to get accustomed to, not seeing our temples. Now that we're in yeah. the Philippines, uh, the Philippine people I mainly identify as Christians um, and, Cap Catholic. and Catholics. Yeah. So there will be no signs of any Buddhist temples whatsoever. And yeah, there might be some. There I might be some, but I'm excited to see all the cathedrals because that's where we came from in the States and how intricate they are and their interpretation of them in the Philippines. Good old 7-Eleven. Good old 7-Eleven. But guys, guess what? There aren't that many here as there are in Thailand. That's so sad. It's so sad. All right, guys. So as you can see, we just walked through the Basilica del Santa El Nino. Um, they they're doing mass inside, but of course, there's not enough people space, so they also have a section set up outside for people to do it, which I think is incredible and necessary. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go on the other side of it and see if we can get inside. It's the oldest church in all of Cebu. We have to see it. Yeah. So, Mr. Jose Ricardo Martinez, <laughs> also known as my boyfriend, my partner, that's right. Anyway, so what are your first impressions of the Philippines so far? Cebu City. I am really enjoying it. I feel like there's a level of comfort from back home, knowing that the Philippines have some Spanish background in it. There's a lot of streets here that are named after like... Girl, you are from America. <laughs> no, but what I'm trying to get at is that there's like a lot of Spanish words here that I can understand. So it makes me feel like I can somewhat connect with them, even though there's so huge disconnect. They speak English. Yeah, they speak English, but then there's also some Spanish words in there. Weather's way cooler than Thailand, so that's a plus. 
and I'm just excited to see what else there is to see. I mean, we came to the Philippines for experiential moments, so let's let's live it up. All right, babe, what are your thoughts of the Philippines so far? So, to be quite honest, I was a little anxious because we just came from Thailand, like literally two days ago, just came from Thailand. Let me tell you, I already love the Philippines. There's, there's nothing to dislike. I love the organized chaos of the city. I love how interactive everything is, how busy it is, and I can't wait to see more and explore more. But my first impressions are two thumbs up. It's been well over 24 hours now since we've landed here in the Philippines and there's so, so much to digest. We gave you a little snippet of our first impressions, but I'm sure there's gonna be way more where that came from. So be sure to stay tuned and like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for our next video. We're already like falling in love here, guys. Uh, we're super excited to be here. We cannot wait to go explore everything else. And be on the lookout for our next video because I will tell you this, it's going to be insane. Like, we never thought we'd be doing this. Be on the lookout. It's going to be the video. Philippines. Guys, you have my approval. Me and Jose went to the mall earlier today because we had to get some stuff. Get there, walk by a restaurant. They're playing Baby One More Time by Brittany. Then we're coming home just now and Jose's mad. <laughs> we're in the taxi and out of nowhere they start playing Toxic. Any country that plays Brittany and shows their love for her has my approval and I'm instantly a fan as if I wasn't already.